Hi, I'm Dr. Karine Pakrasi, Director of Ophthalmology Services at Medanta Hospital, Gurgaon and Delhi. I'm here to talk to you about farsightedness. Did you know that your eyes can be long or short? Did you know that babies are not born with vision? So most babies when they are born are born with a smaller eye. Now that eye develops with age. As children grow, they look around and they start seeing their toes, their fingers, and they keep squinting to see. Sometimes we will wonder if they have a squint. You observe them very well and you try to figure out if this squint is related to any eye problem. So what is this problem? Most children when they are born, their eyes are smaller than they should be. So smaller eyes are always hyperopic. Hyperopic eyes have farsightedness. When I say farsightedness, I mean that these individuals can see distance things very clearly, but things that are at close range get blurred. To explain this to you, I have to show you a model of the human eye. The human eye has a certain length. And how do the lights that come in through the front get focused onto the retina? They do that with the help of the cornea, which is a refractive surface, which focuses the light to a certain limit and also with the lens. Now the lens and the cornea are supposed to focus this light at a certain distance. But in children who have hyperopia, their eyes are smaller. So these two objects which are supposed to focus the light at say a certain distance cannot do that because their eyes are not at that distance, they are smaller. So the light goes out of focus and they are unable to see whatever is coming, being projected to their retina from a near position. So what do they do? They try very hard to use the eye muscles which are attached to the lens. In the periphery of the lens, we have our ciliary muscles. Now the ciliary muscles can change the curvature of the lens itself and make it more curved. So they keep squinting in order to focus. And when they look straight, they're supposed to flatten. So a normal lens will become more curved or less curved depending on whether you're seeing things at near or in the distance. Now, those people who have a normal length of eyeball will be exactly focusing on the retina when they look straight when the lens is flat but when they look near their lens becomes fat and they focus with near vision why does that happen because when we are looking near the rays of light are diverging we need more power to focus it on the retina which is the right place now people who have hyperopia are unable to do that we have to give that person a set of lenses which will determine which is the best lens which will focus the image on the retina. These lenses are usually plus lenses. Now how do we determine what is the amount of power that the child needs? So the child, when the parents normally will see this, fact that they are squinting or they are squeezing their eyes too much in order to focus on near things, they bring the child to the hospital to check. When we check, we find that the power is in the plus side. So that plus power, when we see it, we give lenses to see what is the power that gives the child the best vision. Now. There are certain things which are involved in this. 
a sometimes children will over focus and they can even give you a false number or they can hide a number that they need so you maybe when the child comes in and you make them read the chart they are able to read it very well and why is that because they have used their muscles to hide this number now there are medical terminologies for all of these but we are not using them because we want you to understand the concept now when we are when the patient is using their muscles to cover the number that they have that is the refractive error they will be able to read the whole chart so you will think that oh it's fine my child can read but the child is having difficulty reading near so over a period of time the child will start squinting they will get headaches and they will complain the teacher will complain that maybe they are dyslexic they are writing their b's as d's or they are writing in a irregular fashion they are not sticking to the line so the handwriting goes up goes down and there sometimes their handwriting is bigger sometimes smaller so all of these symptoms are indicative that the child has something which we called far sightedness because apparently they can see everything they are able to see you. normally what will happen when you find that somebody can't see you say oh read that uh, card number so they can read the card number very well they can even read what is on their books but they are having to squeeze their muscles too much now this process will give them headaches they will complain so if your child is complaining of headaches take them for an eye check make sure that they don't have hyperopia or hypermetropia or far sightedness these are the three names by which we know this disease okay so now the thing is that what are the side effects so the side effects that the child can get a squint the child can uh, get amblyopia where the eye becomes lazy because this can occur in one eye and not in the other eye and all of these conditions have to be corrected before the age of 10 if you don't do it by the age of 10 then they will not be able to recover their vision because this is the age when the channels of communications are being set up between your eye as a receptacle of the rays of light and the retina which converts those rays of light into vision and the optic nerve and the brain where the vision actually takes place so it is like you have a bulb which is